Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud Seeker. Today's session, we'll look at restricted SharePoint search within Microsoft 365. We'll first touch base on what it is, why you as either a global admin or SharePoint admin would use restricted search, and how we deploy it via PowerShell. Let's first look at the prereqs and how we prioritize sites for this created list and how we remove those sites which we don't want Copilot for Microsoft 365 to be able to comb. So I'm logged into my sandbox instance. This sandbox instance is called technical pre-sales. I'm also in the SharePoint admin console as a global administrator. But like I said, alternatively, you can be a SharePoint admin. Once you're on the dashboard, you want to select the hamburger icon, which will expand the service pane down the left hand side. We can see we're currently in the home section where we can customize our cards and widgets to our liking. We also have active sites and deleted sites, albeit if we're looking at communication, hub sites, just general day-to-day -day sites, we can manage from this pane. And we also have the policy section where we can start to customize or configure our external sharing um, policies, as well as role-based access control and any down-level permissions. If I was to select sites, you'll see all the listed sites within my organization. This is only a sandbox instance, so there's only around four to five sites in this organization as is. However, many of you will have 100 to 200 sites, um, very much dependent on your, your size, your business unit, and where you're at in terms of your life cycle. We also have the unique URLs associated to the sites. Um, these can't um, overlap or conflict with one another. These are unique and they're one-to-one -one mapping uh, with the particular site. We can see the storage used and the uh, primary admin for the particular sites in question. These columns are very important because they, they're, they give us the ability or they provide us the ability to be able to filter based on activity, file count, um, who the site was created by, uh, page views, um, if external sharing is on or off, and we're able to customize these columns. What I'm really interested from my perspective is the amount of files in the SharePoint site. Albeit it's not that big, but if I was to filter larger to smaller, I could say, okay, this site has three files over the other sites which have two, one, and nothing. If I was to scroll to the left, I could see, okay, all company has the most files. Maybe I prioritize this site over the other sites. I don't know, that's really up to your judgment. We also have to take into consideration whether or not the site's uh, site permissions are set correctly, especially if they're a hub site um, and they're in, being inherited uh, by other, other sites. Um, like I said, the amount of files, um, what the external sharing settings are, are set or are they inherit in the organizational wide settings. There's a whole load of um, technicalities you need to be able to ratify before you start making the judgment whether or not you want Copilot to be able to comb a particular site or not. Once again, the restricted SharePoint search is moving away from, you know, going into a site, clicking site settings and uh, turn off or on indexing. OK, that's a very manual task, especially if you're talking uh, 50 plus sites. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be streamlining, streamlining this process, either through uh, importing a CSV or at least copying and pasting URLs into a notepad and just importing it via PowerShell. It's much easier. So if I was to filter that, um, you do have the ability to um, save the custom view you set, um, which I've, I've done one previously. Uh, I call it restricted search, allow list view. And with that, once you've um, customized this to your liking, you can press export and then you can save that CSV to your C drive, your document area, wherever you want to save it. And you can import it uh, through the process I'm going to take you through via PowerShell. Alternatively, we also have the reporting section in terms of prioritization. This comes with the SharePoint uh, Advanced Management Pack or license. Uh, with that, you can select data access governance and you have the, um, the ability to be able to see the activity based on site as well as how many files, etc., are being shared outside your organization. Uh, this is really important when we start talking data governance, exposure, um, and that ratification piece of is my data secure? A lot of this stuff you can get in Microsoft Purview today within the AI hub, which is currently in preview, uh, but this is uh, generally available. So 
one important report here is anyone links. Of course, if you're sharing anyone links, anyone can access it. They don't have to authenticate, they have to authorize. Um, and if you're trying to re really adopt the zero trust methodology, this may be something um, uh, which is important to you. So you can run the report. It takes a couple of hours. It will sift through the sites based on the amount of sites, of course, will will base on the amount of time it takes. Um, and with that, that will allow you to use this report plus the, the data you'll see in active sites to be able to really prioritize, okay, what sites should we allow Copilot to leverage and what sites should we not? When we talk created list, it's just an allow list. We can um, append up to 100 sites within this created list. Um, and, and, and yeah, that would determine whether or not Copilot can uh, comb through that information. So if we were to access PowerShell, because that's how we enable the service and uh, set which sites we want to allow and which ones we want to not allow, uh, we can go to PowerShell ISC, we can open up Windows PowerShell as is, which make sure you're an administrator and you've got the right uh, privileges, i.e. global admin or SharePoint admin for the tenancy. We then want to connect to the SPO service. It will then ask us for the particular URL for our SharePoint admin center. In this case, it is the WCC technical pre-sales for myself, and I can hit enter. It will then ask me to authenticate with, like I said, a privileged account. In this instance, it's the account I'm logged in as. It will then say, okay, great, you're successfully connected. We then want to see what the status of the uh, restricted search mode is for our organization. By default, it should be disabled. Um, I may have done this previously, so it may come out true, but by default, it should say disabled. In this instance, it's enabled. If you were to uh, change it from disabled to enabled, you just need to run the set SPO tenant restricted search mode uh, dash mode to enabled. And then once again, run the get command just to confirm it's, um, it's changed. Once we've done that, it's just the case of adding the sites to the created list. And this created list is just the allow list. So yep, yeah, this would work. So all you need to do is um, type in add SPO tenant restricted search allowed list and then dash site list and then type in the URL for the particular site you want to um, add to the list. And this can be found in active sites here and expand this URL section here or you can click on the particular site and uh, find the site address here under edit and just copy and paste this. Alternatively, if you don't want to copy and paste the URLs, you can, um, like I said, export it into a CSV, format it, where you've got all the site URLs down one column, and you can import it that way. And the command for this is add SPO tenant restricted search allowed list site list file URL, and just add the, um, the, the file path for that particular CSV. We're up to this stage where we've just imported a, uh, a single site into our created list. Anything outside of that will be combed via Copilot for Microsoft 365. When I say combed, Copilot for Microsoft 365 can't use the LLM, so the large language model, um, to, to, to look into the organizational data for that particular site. So if we want to get the list and see what sites have actually been added, um, we can just copy that command there. Um, we can just go down level once, one, um, Sorry, just need to click on it. There we go. We can see previously I've added two sites. And if you if you want to um, remove sites moving forward, um, there is a command to remove it, okay, uh, which I will link in the description. Um, alternatively, you can import another CSV and it'll just overwrite what's already been imported. So you've got the two options there. Um, that's it. So like I said, this is really moving away from selecting sites, site settings, um, turn off and turn on indexing. Um, it's more simplistic. It's a better way to manage it. It's kind of zero trust from the out. Um, i.e. you're only going to allow the sites, um, you know, once you've enabled the service, um, you want Copilot for Microsoft 365 to be able to search rather than allow everything then start removing. Um, so it really, it really abides by the zero trust methodology, which is, you know, always authenticate, 
um, just in time, just enough access and being able to segment access, so reducing blast radius. Um, any questions, please let me know. Uh, but I think that was a quick video on you know how to use and interact with restricted SharePoint search. Thank you very much.